that was the day of the storm. No. I, I was, like I said, I stayed out for the storm in Southport. And just like looking at all these pine trees, you know, laid over that easy. Like we literally watched all of them drop one by one by one. porch was kind of like an L porch. We were all sitting. Most of the time, we were outside, like on the front porch, watching it because, you know, it was unlike any other storm we've been in. Most of the time, it was just sideways rain. And then after the first wall hit, we're like, okay. And the second wall hit, and we're like, oh no, this is bad. This is nasty. That's when the house started shaking. And, like I have, I have a video that I still think I have to where we're sitting on the front porch and you're literally seeing the, the ground breathe with these pine trees and oak trees just like, swaying like they're nothing. And, like the patio where there was like paved bricks, you're like literally seeing the bricks move up and down. And we would just have, the house was kind of built like horseshoe, so we didn't really have problems with the wind. So we can actually watch the storm. And it was kind of like, the land, the outlook of the land was a flat. So you could literally look straight across and like watch people's sheds being rolled. Um, see like sheet metal coming off of people's houses. Vinyl being ripped off of people's houses. And you're just like, man, this is, this is kind of crazy never see this much destruction ever. It's kind of crazy because once you get used to seeing something for so long the way it is and then like in less than 24 hours it's completely upside down and changed. Kind of like shakes your mind a little bit. Like, man I can't believe this actually happened. This is kind of unreal.